Rated RP. My name is Christian Allen. I'm a game designer at Red Storm Entertainment, and this is Ghost Recon 2. Ghost, this is command. Move out. Roger that. On me. First thing you're going to notice about Ghost Recon 2 is the over-the-shoulder view. What we've done is we looked at some different innovative ways to add immersion to the player, and we ended up pulling the camera back a little bit from the character, so you can see him interact with the world, give hand signals. Move out. Our environments are heavily detailed. We've got environmental effects. We've got the dynamic grass system throughout the level. Place a demo charge at the base of the bridge to take it out. Flank left. Roger that. Ghost Recon 2 is a team-based game and your team has to be there backing you up. We wanted to make it easy and accessible to give a large variety of tactical orders. There's a huge amount of commands that you can give, from a basic advance, which is just go to this area, to flank commands, you know, flank around this area, hold position, uh, place in a demo charge, mission objective-based things. That should stop them. Ghost, this is command. Link up with friendly units in the village. Because you're prone a lot in Ghost Recon, we really wanted to kind of come up with a new system that allows you to more dynamically react with the environment. Each one of the characters is a unique individual, they're not a bunch of clones. So you can choose to order your team to kind of move through the level and basically do everything while you cover them, or you can move through and your team will back you up. The best way to do it is somewhere in between. Alright, let's move up and secure that pagoda. All the animations in Ghost Recon 2 are captured from real Special Forces soldiers. So all the gear that you see is appropriate not just to the character, but to real life. Ghost, it's command. They're dropping orders on your position. Get to the helo. Havoc 2 Physics has been integrated into the game engine, and that allows us a real level of realism and immersion when it comes to objects interacting in the game world. Uh, when you take out a vehicle, its pieces fly apart realistically. When you blow up a bridge, the pieces come down and they all interact with each other. It's all with the realistic physics that Havoc 2 allows us to have. 